morning guys so excuse where i look before you judge it is half six i'm going to get my tesco's order so you guys are coming with me um i'm probably gonna stall because i haven't driven in about three months um i actually don't know how to drive like that's what it feels like right now so as you can probably hear i'm going about five miles an hour um so i'm going to get my tesco's order and then i'm gonna do a little haul and show you what i bought and yeah that's basically it i wanted to actually talk to you guys on the way because i had a little issue last night which i'm really angry about still um so i was up until about half one and then it's now half six and i got up at six so i'm feeling a little bit worse for wear um my eyes are stinging and yeah i just feel oh you're way over behind me um i just feel very tired so that's not great for one so i did not get enough sleep and i went on to make some changes to my order and it was in relation to some cake decorations which it's the sort of thing where you know if i've ordered too much bread i can still eat the bread but if i've ordered too much cake decorations i can't really do much with that because i'd still have to make the cake so that's what i did i ordered the wrong cake stuff or not the wrong but i just didn't want to make that cake anymore i changed my mind because i kept changing my mind and kept amending my order yesterday so i changed it and i clicked save and as i clicked save the website or the app um like rebooted updated and it said you're placed in a queue because there's too many people trying to access the app and i was like it's half 11 like i need to save my order because the cutoff is quarter to 12 and there's loads of people trying to do orders on there and i was thinking tesco's you need to sort out your servers because you can't be having that like if you've put too much on and you can't go into tesco's because it's bank holiday and they don't open until i think it's eight and i'm obviously here at six and if i refuse it i don't know how it works because they say refuse it and then they'll take it away but like they don't give you any kind of receipt when they do that so it's like i don't want to get them to take it away and then like i don't actually get the right money back like say i get 11 pounds instead of 15 like I want it to be right and if I don't have some kind of paper confirmation how do I know that that's going to happen so yeah I'm I don't want to do that so what I'm going to do is just take the stuff and then I'm just going to have to make the brownies that I didn't want to make and use it up oh there's no one there so that's great literally it's just dead here that guy was waiting for me but I was going straight and he was going around right I'm literally the first one, so that's great. And um, yeah, see you in a minute. So we have done Tesco's, that is all done. I am way too tired for that and I look awful. So I'm glad that I've got to wear a mask because that meant that I could hide that. Um, right, so there was quite a lot of stuff. Um, I got 80 items, which is the limit. So I literally got the max amount of items I could get. Um, so yeah we're gonna go home i'm gonna unload it and then we're gonna be in the kitchen i'm gonna wash up everything because that's what i do um we wash all of our shopping just because like especially with tesco's i don't know with other places but tesco's i know that they literally go around and have pickers that pick it off the shelves so you know if 100 people have touched that and then they pick it off the shelves then you know you don't know how clean it is whereas if you're getting it from somewhere where they're delivery only or something then it's less likely that loads of people have touched it so yeah um you don't have to worry as much i don't think if you get like a delivery only kind of site like maybe a cardo or something but yeah um i like to wash everything it just makes me feel better um so yeah we're gonna go home wash the stuff and then i'm gonna show you what i've got and then I'll be baking the rest of the day, so I'm not going to film that. Um, so yeah, it'll be Tesco's and haul. Oh, there's a person right up my arse and it's really annoying me because it's too early in the morning for someone to be in that much of a rush that they need to be that close to me. Oh yeah, just a little side note I forgot to mention. Um, I didn't end up 
like refusing the stuff i thought it's too much hassle um it makes it difficult for them because they have to take it back and try and refund it and then i have to wait and there was other people waiting behind me so i didn't want to make them wait any longer so i just accepted the stuff that i didn't want um so yeah i'm gonna use it anyway it's, i'll get over it um it was quite funny as well there was a well not maybe not funny but i was a bit confused there was a man walking around the um car park with a trolley full of stuff singing really loudly um and um yeah he he was in interesting attire so i'm not sure whether he had gone into tesco's and bought the stuff or whether it was like old bags of stuff i don't know but um he looked very happy but i was a bit confused as to <laughs> where he came from because he came out of nowhere um but yeah apart from that tesco seemed pretty normal I had my mask so i was fine um and i leave it in the car because they say you're not meant to wear it consecutively so i think it's 48 hours you're meant to leave it or at least a day so i like to leave mine in the car because i only use it if i'm going to tesco's i don't use it if i'm walking down the park because it's i'm not coming into contact with anyone like even close because if someone sort of walks the other way then i walk onto the grass and take like you know 10 meters distance um because cleo's lead is five so i always like take way more than that so yeah i don't have to worry about it around the park and obviously it's open air it's not a closed space whereas tesco's like the people that work they have to get quite close because they have to give you the stuff and they have to ask your name and if you're wearing a mask then they can't hear you as much so yeah um i just like to wear it for that because people get a bit closer and you're touching a lot of um like shopping and stuff and not being able to wash your hands because there's no facilities so that's why i wear a mask when i go there um and then i don't go anywhere else so it's literally my life tesco's and working from home at the moment um and i mean tesco's we usually get it delivered but there were no slots so i had to go and collect it which isn't a usual thing so that was interesting um and i've got a, i've got a pair of gloves in the car and i've got a pair of the gloves in the house but i've now brought them to the car so i'm gonna have to take these back in because these are my washing up ones so yeah i'm gonna go wash up now so this is all of the food i've just got it out and then i'm gonna work through and wash it so all of this from there backwards is my mum's and then this is mine and that is just some ciders but they put it in a wine box so it isn't actually as much as it looks um so I got some baking stuff. I love this fake bacon. It, I'm obsessed with it, as you can see. Um, yeah, I got some syrup, some Nando sauce, which I'm really excited about. Um, more baking stuff, pizza, dog treats. But yeah, I will go through it all. So I'm just gonna start wiping everything down. We literally use any disinfectant, as long as it's antibacterial, then that's what we use. And we just wipe everything down. Um, we used to wash it completely, but it just took so long. Whereas as long as you're using antibacteria, it's gonna kill the bacteria that's on there, if anything. So yeah, and it's a lot quicker. So yeah, just get yourself some antibac and then you literally just need a little um, cloth and then you can just wipe everything down and it's really, really quick. And then it will keep you safer. So that's why we do it. Um, I've got quite a lot here, so I'm just gonna time lapse it and then we will go through everything that I got and I'll show you everything once it's all clean because then I can just pick it up easily. So yeah. through everything that I got I'm not going to say prices because I got a lot um so yeah I'm just going to show you what I actually got um so I'm going to start with ciders so I got six different ciders because it's been really warm so at the weekend it's nice to have the odd cider um so I got two of each flavor so I got the record leg wild berries and the passion fruit one 
and then I got Old Mel and it's the Kiwi and Lime. These are all my favourites. They're so nice and when it's sunny, it's just nice to have one. Um, then I got a bunch of baking stuff because we're going to be baking today. So the first thing I got was gluten-free plain white flour. Then I got a silver cake plate just because it will make the cake look nice when it's sat on it. I got some honey. Then I got some caster sugar. I got some, um, I think it's called Demira cubes, which is like brown sugar. But what I was gonna do is crush it because they didn't have any bags of brown sugar and I wanna use it in a recipe. Um, then I got some little carrots. So I'm planning to make a carrot cake, a um, Victoria sponge cake, um, Aero cupcakes, um brownies which i didn't plan to make but because i couldn't take stuff off the order we're going to make them i was also going to make some like sponge cupcakes but with different colored icing and with various different like things on top but they'll just be like plain like victoria sponge ones but yes that's the plan um so i got some cocoa powder as well i got some nando's piri piri um marinade i got the lemon and herb um, because I don't like too much spice, but what I was going to do is try and marinate my tofu, which might sound really weird, but um, obviously I don't eat chicken, so I thought that I would try it, because sometimes the tofu can be a bit bland if you don't season it right, so I thought that I would try that. Um, then I got some guacamole, I got it in a little squeezy bottle, because I thought it might last longer than the little tubs that you can get. Then I just got a mixture of decoration so i got little swirls and like hundreds and thousands i got some peppermint flavoring which is for the aero cupcakes then i got arrows i got two little punnets of raspberries for the victoria sponge and some seedless raspberry ice cream because i prefer the one that doesn't have seeds then for my salads, I got some new potatoes because I'm trying to be healthier. And I managed to find these taco shells, which um, they're a lot cheaper than the old El Paso ones. I didn't know that they did their own, but because I previously bought the old El Paso ones. Um, but yeah, so these were like a pound. So I definitely recommend these. And you get 12, the same as the other pack. Some Jaffa cakes for some of the chocolate cakes that I'm making. I'm going to make some ch extra chocolate cakes. Um, maybe in the aero ones I might decorate a couple of Jaffa cakes. So I was going to cut them in half and then place them on the top and make them look really cute. Then I got dark chocolate chips because they didn't have normal milk chocolate ones. Some lemons for the Victoria sponge. Then I got dark chocolate, milk chocolate and white chocolate for the brownies. That's also to drizzle over the top. Then just for snacks, I got two packs of Kit Kats. Um, if you haven't gathered already, I'm sort of in between vegan and vegetarian. A lot of the stuff that I'm eating is vegan. Um, it's literally just chocolate and um, yeah, basically just that. I'm still eating vegan meat. I'm still eating um, like all the meat alternatives that don't have any eggs or anything in. All of my stuff doesn't have any milk or eggs in it's just the chocolate which is mainly because i'm doing cakes and stuff like that um but yeah and i'm also still having oat milk so yeah pretty much vegan but not fully um i got some vanilla syrup for my coffee which i'm really really excited about so i'm going to be putting this in my iced coffee and also in my normal coffee then i've got corn cocktail sausages then I got three of these bacon bits. They are delicious. They're so good. Even when I was cooking them, my mum was like, that smells like bacon. That's really good. And I was like, well, it's not. So um, I got some beetroot salad, which looks like that. That's again for my salads that I'm having. Then I got some couscous. So I was planning to mix this with normal couscous and then it will make a bigger portion. And then I can again have that with my salads. Then I got some pesto, so I got the reduced fat one. Then I got the vegan cookies and cream, Ben Jerry's. So I'm really excited about that. I haven't had that one, I've only had the brownie and that was really sickly, whereas I think the cookies and cream will be nicer. Then I just got some bananas. 
I got some pitters to go with my salsa. Then I just got some crunchy salad, carrot baton, cucumber. I got these fillets again to go with vegetables. I'm trying to do a low carb or, you know, eat crisps and stuff, but not have any carbs with my main meals. Then I just got some dog treats. So I got these ones and these ones. Tortilla chips, again, to go with the salsa. And I'll put a picture of what I'm going to do with this on the screen. But I got these silicone, um, they're kind of like a Calippo, um like holder from ebay and they were like five pounds and you can pour whatever you want in there to make a ice lolly and you just shove it in the freezer so i got some orange juice and i got tropical as well so i'm literally just going to pour this in there and then put it in the freezer and it will make a calippo style um thing which should be interesting hopefully they turn out well uh, i got some bourbons then the last things i got was some diet lemonade because I've been having like the odd gin, so I use that for that, or I just have it on its own. Then I got some more Vitalite. I got two of these for my baking. So again, like all the cakes, even though they have eggs, the eggs are from my garden, so they're from our chickens, so that's fine. I'm not buying them from a shop, and our hens are rescue hens anyway. The icing is also vegan, because I'll use this butter. So yeah, pretty 95% vegan, the cakes. Um... So I got some oat milk, I got three of these and I recently changed over to this. I used to always have soy and I found that one, it went off really quickly or it smelt off really quickly and two, it just made me feel funny, like my stomach just did not agree with it. So it would just make me feel sick. Um, so yes, I got oat and I absolutely love it. I did, I went from soy to almond and almond is a lot thinner. Whereas oat is the similar consistency to soy, whereas almond and cashew and all of those are very thin. So if you're having it in like tea, it makes your tea really, really strong. So I prefer to have oat in like my smoothies, tea, coffee, everything. So yes, definitely glad that I changed that. Um, the last two things, I got pom bears because I've been snacking so much in quarantine. And I've decided to treat myself to a Goodfellas pizza. So I think I'm going to save this for next Saturday because we're having the family quiz, which we have every week. So I think I'm going to save this for that. But it's a spinach and falafel and it looks great. So yeah, that was everything. I've washed it all so now I can put it away. Um, this is so high. Um... But yeah, I am excited to start eating it. I'm really, really hungry. Like I, because I went to bed so late and then I also woke up at six. So I've literally had four hours sleep. I think I'm going to have to have a nap because I'm so tired. But yes, um, I'm going to start baking something. I need to decide which one I'm going to do first. I'm not sure about the arrow because I don't think I have the right food colouring. So I've ordered more off eBay, which should come on Thursday. So I think I might do the Victoria sponge. We will see. Or I might do the brownies. Because they literally took like, it's 10 minutes prep and 10 minutes cooking, which is just so easy. So I might do those. I will see. But yes, I will see you in the next one. And I hope you enjoyed.